Hi everyone, Tim Balmore is here from 415 Digital, coming at you live from the beautiful San Francisco Bay Area. Today I'm going to talk to you all about Microsoft Ads Syndicated Search Partner Network. We're going to go over exactly what it is, how it affects you, and what you can do to make sure that it is helping your accounts. Because it's common to find that the syndicated search partners often hurt performance on accounts. Let me begin by defining exactly what syndicated search partners are. They consist of a collection of websites or publishers that utilize a search engine powered by Microsoft. When a user goes to one of these websites, and makes a search, they're taken to a search engine results page on which one of your ads may be featured. And as one might expect, user behavior, therefore performance, may change when someone is searching from a dedicated search engine site versus performing a search on a non-search engine site. Starting from the Microsoft Ads user interface, I like to look at the campaign level because the data is more aggregated and seeing larger numbers helps make better informed decisions. If you like to get more granular, you can also do this at the ad group level, ads level, and even the keyword level. In order to see performance of your syndicated search partners, you're going to want to go to segment and want to segment by network. This breaks out performance based on which network your campaign was served on, either the AOL search network, Microsoft ads audience network, the Bing and Yahoo search network, and the syndicated search partners network. Here you'll be able to see whether your campaigns are performing well or not on the syndicated search partners. Hopefully you see good performance across all your networks. In the case that you see poor performance in the syndicated search partners, you have the option to completely opt out of search partners, but rather I recommend looking at each individual search partners performance because unlike Google ads, Microsoft Ads allows you to exclude specific URLs rather than opting out from the entire syndicate search partners network. The first option where you completely opt out of syndicated search partners must happen at the ad group level. From the ad group view, you want to select settings and scroll down to where it says ad distribution. And here, you can select where you want your ads to be placed. You can select whether you want your ads to be served on all the search networks, Bing, AOL, Yahoo Search, and Syndicated Search Partners. You can choose to just serve on the Bing, AOL, and Yahoo Search only. Or you can select to be served on only Bing, AOL, and Yahoo Syndicated Search Partners. Keep in mind that you will have to do this for every ad group that you want to exclude syndicated search partners from. All right, next I'm going to get into option number two of viewing the performance of each individual syndicated search partner so that we can exclude individual search partners instead of opting out completely. From here, you're going to want to click on reports. This will take you to the reporting page where you want to navigate to website URL in parentheses publisher. From here, you can create a report that shows the performance of each website URL that your ads appeared on. Running that report and downloading it gives you a nice Excel file where you can see each website URL and the corresponding performance from that URL. Here, you could just do an easy pivot table 
which you can use to find the winners and the losers with regards to performance on these specific URLs. Here I was able to pivot out my data and I was able to narrow down the URLs that I want to exclude from my campaigns. Now there are two ways in which you can apply these URL exclusions to your campaigns. The first method I'm going to show you is more manual. And you're going to do this by going into the campaign or ad group level, hitting settings, and scrolling down to where you see exclusions website. And here you can paste all the websites that you want to exclude from your specific campaign or ad group. The second option, which I prefer because it allows you to apply these exclusions in bulk, occurs in the Microsoft Ads Editor. From here, you can navigate to either the campaign or the ad group level, select the ad group or campaign in bulk, hit advanced options, excluded websites, and from here, you can just paste the websites you want to exclude. And up here, there's an option for either adding these to existing website exclusions or replacing them. Uh, I like to add to the existing website exclusions. You click OK, and voila, there you have it. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about the syndicated search partners, please visit our blog at 415digital.com. I want to thank you for listening, and I look forward to our next vlog. Till next time. <laughs>